So I decided that I was going to redesign the fridge, it's something that you know, most people have in their homes. And if I could redesign it, so either use renewable energy or no energy at all, um, we, we wouldn't be using so many resources. So again, I used that technique of becoming an expert. I researched refrigeration. I went to air conditioning unit manufacturers. I went to um, speak to my physics teacher who knew about um, cooling. And I, I wanted to gain as much um, information as possible. And spending time with a fridge manufacturer made me really understand how fridges work. And it was just too complex for what I wanted to do. I wanted to create something quite simplistic. So I started looking at our body and how our bodies cool. And I realized that through sweating, our body's cooled down. And, and I decided at that point that I wanted to make a fridge that sweats. Now the product works by having two cylinders, one inside the other. Um, the inner cylinder is where you keep your products. So it could be food, it could be meat. And around the inner cylinder, you have a compartment that would be where you put a medium. So it might be sheep's oil, it might be soil, something that holds water. You then have an outer cylinder with holes in. You add dirty water. To, or water to that medium and you leave it in a warm environment. In that warm environment the fridge sweats and via heat transfer you get a completely dry, cool, hygienic inner compartment, perfect for storing products. After spending nine months creating this project I realised that actually that wasn't going to be suitable for use in our homes. Um, there, wasn't, there wasn't a sun's energy to cause the fridge to sweat um, and you would have water at a loss in a kitchen. At that point, I felt like I'd failed with my project. Um, I'd almost reached the end of the line, really. I thought, how else am I going to make this product? Or how could this product work? Um, but I realised that because I'd, I'd created a product that could cool in the sun's energy, that I just needed to think, well, where else could this product be used? And I went back again to the learning that I'd done in the previous year with my water carrier and how I'd learnt about the uh, materials that are available in Africa. I learnt about the products that were available in Africa and realised that this fridge could be really useful for people who don't have access to um, electricity or don't have the ability to refrigerate in parts of Africa. Um, and my fridge could be there to store meat, medicine um, and food, food sources in, hot, in the hot climate without the need for power.